The humanoid robots just keep coming. Neo is the latest, built by robotics company 1X. This pre-production beta model will be tested in home settings, an interesting shift from many of the more warehouse-focused humanoids we've been covering. Here's everything we know about Neo, the new robot on the block. 1X dropped a short and sweet teaser announcing its Neo robot. In it, the robot picks up a bag and hands it to someone and poses with a person for a picture. While this is the first video 1X has shared of Neo, it appears the robot made an appearance as a hologram alongside NVIDIA CEO Jensen Wong when he announced the company's Project Groot, a platform for the development of humanoid robots. 1X's decision to show Neo with its arm around a person indicates how 1X may be hoping to differentiate itself from the competition. Most other robotics companies show interaction with humans primarily to test resilience or to show how humans and robots can work together. 1X seems to be selling a kind of close and casual encounter that we haven't seen a lot of in the humanoid robotic space. This is likely due to the fact that 1X is pitching Neo as something that could someday be used to help around the house. Something designed for the home will naturally require a deeper level of trust than something designed for a factory or warehouse setting since the robot will know where you live and see where you sleep. Neo is about 5 feet 5 inches tall and weighs 66 pounds, making it one of the lightest humanoid robots we've covered here on What the Future. It can carry 44 pounds, run at a speed of 7.5 miles per hour, and has a battery life of 2 to 4 hours. If Neo is on the fritz or acting strange, 1X says the robot can be quickly taken over by a remote human operator for safety. Another interesting feature is that Neo is covered in clothing, making it look more like the first iteration Tesla bot, meaning a person in a robot suit, than an actual robot. The clothing may be an effort to cover up what 1X says is a quote, muscle-like anatomy, perhaps to protect some proprietary technology or for aesthetic reasons. 1X says Neo can quote, walk, jog, climb stairs, and navigate your space naturally. 1X has made humanoid robots before, which could give us a clue at where Neo is headed. Neo's predecessor, Eve, was heavier, taller, and also clothed to cover up its robotic innards, making it look pretty jacked not exactly comforting to a world that's been conditioned on sci-fi movies. Eve uses wheels instead of legs to get around, and 1X describes it as an AI data collection platform and the foundation for Neo's learning. 1X has posted several videos of its Eve robots operating autonomously, performing a variety of tasks, with some appearing to be more successful than others. They are in training, after all. According to its CEO, 1X will be deploying a handful of Neo Beta robots into homes this year for research and development purposes. The company hopes that ultimately its robots will be able to help around the house with chores and perhaps provide support to people with limited mobility. 1X is backed by OpenAI, the company behind ChatGPT, though it's unclear how OpenAI's technology is being used in 1X's robots, if at all. We do know that Figure, another humanoid robotics company, announced a partnership with OpenAI that allows its robots to converse and take vocal commands. For more details on Figure's latest humanoid robot, check out this video right here. And subscribe to CNET for the latest and greatest tech news. As always, thanks so much for watching. I'm your host, Jesse Orl. See you next time with the fam.